Hey everyone, it is KR0. Let me put the headphones on. Anyways, it is KR0, and uh, yeah, I, I've been trying to make this video for a good minute, but I keep getting distracted. So, let's do it this time, okay? <laughs> Anyways, uh, thank, uh, first and foremost, I want to thank everybody who has recently subscribed to my um, YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Hey, we're growing this channel slowly, so... Hey, I'm always ha happy and thankful for anybody who decides they want to check out my stuff and subscribe to my um my channel. Uh, second of all, I want to talk. Um, I want to do one last video. Uh, I want to say one last thing about the whole Kendrick and Drake debate, since it seems to be slowly dying down. Um, as far as diss tracks coming out. Um, I haven't heard a di single diss track in almost a week or two. Um, basically, that whole thing is, oof. Like, I don't know why Drake decided to put, uh, try, tried Kendrick, okay? Because everything that Kendrick has said has been factual. Um, uh, we can find evidence. People all over the internet are finding the evidence, okay? TikTokers, all of them. They're finding evidence that that backs up everything Kendrick said in his beef, in his diss tracks, okay? And let's just be honest. Like, when you're thinking about, like, <laughs> all the different uh, Kendrick Lamar, uh, 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 the, the different songs that came out, out of this disc, the only ones that seem to be like still in people's minds are Kendrick's. And well, let's just let's let's just submit, okay? Metro booming, Metro booming cooked with uh, <laughs> BBL Drizzy, okay? He cooked with BBL Jeezy, like shoot I, I i gotta do it again like i, I gotta listen it, it, it's just so good it's like come on come on okay I'm, I'm done i'm done but bbl drizzy stays on my mind Okay, it lives rent free in my head now. Same with, same with not like us. Same with not like us. I'm like, I see dead people. Monster on the beat, ho, Debo, in rap, nigga, he a freak, bro. Man down, call out Ember Lambs, tell him bleed, bro. Never. Hold on, hold on. Gonna get that to the hook. Like us, they not 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 like us, and then, and then this, and then this one, step this way, step this way, step this way, step this way, step this way. Step this way. my friend, I'll be locked in. Then step this way, step the way, step this way, step the way. Oh goodness! I mean, those, those songs, those songs went hard, and they still live right free in my head. But anyways, <laughs> obviously Kendrick won that. But still, <laughs> um, yeah, you know, that's the last thing we're gonna talk about it because I mean, good gracious, like it's all coming out for Drake right now. I mean, there are so many people who are making videos about this. Um, mostly the videos I've seen online on YouTube. I can't seem to escape from, are <laughs> uh, from, uh, hold on, let me, let me see if I can find it. Um, are from Urban Legends, Will Evans, and um, Tisa Tells on YouTube. So I will, I will leave a link in the description of this video uh, to both of them, their channels because they have been they have been doing so much on the evidence of everything that's going on when it comes to like Drake and everything that Kendrick pretty much said about Drake in uh, 
his uh, diss tracks. But that's not the only thing I'm going to talk about in this video. I also need to talk about something that is near and dear to my heart, okay? And that is Doctor Who. Yo, uh, Doctor Who uh, finally came out. The, the new season, season one. I know I said new season, but, you know, we, we're, we're, we're restarting the whole thing. Um, well, not restarting fully, but you know what I mean. But Shirigawa, as the 15th Doctor, um, is now gracing our screens, or our streaming screens, <laughs> uh, namely America, Disney+. Plus. Ooh, sorry. Um, it has finally graced our screens as of last Friday. And uh, me and a, a very special friend, I, I'm not going to go any further on that. Me and her, we watched uh, the first two episodes. Yeah, first two episodes of the new season came out. Um, the, uh, the first episode being Space Babies and the second episode being uh, The Devil's Chord. They were actually pretty decent. I actually liked them. Um, I can see where a lot of people are going to be upset, where a lot of old school Doctor Who fans may be upset with uh, The Devil's Chord, uh, especially with the ending. But other than that, I actually love both of them in general. And it's not because I'm a huge fan. I will sit there and tell you if I believe an episode of any particular TV show, especially an episode, uh, a TV show I love, was, mm, was just not hitting the, the, was just not hitting it, okay? I have no problem saying that. However, I actually did enjoy them. And if you look at them for what they were, I, I feel like they're world building, well, they're building up to what is going to be the main hook of the, the, the season. Space Babies was really good. Um, Space Babies is really good. I thought it was cute how they had the little babies talking and <laughs> uh, going like, "Oh, you my mommy and daddy, mommy and daddy are here." It was it was beautiful. Um, and the the villain of that episode was <laughs> it wasn't to be expected, but it was hilarious when you find out what it's made of. Oh, good lord! Um. But then Devil's Court was actually pretty decent as well. I love the idea of, uh, I, I love the idea that they, you know, incorporate the idea of music into the story. Uh, because in my honest opinion, yeah, it is true. If we didn't have music in the world, well, the world would be bland and the world would end in no time, we, we wouldn't have the emotions that we actually have. I mean, shoot, look at what happened with, um, look at what's been going on with the whole Kendrick and Drake thing. More people have been feeling it more so than anything about this whole Drake and <laughs> Kendrick. I'm still, you're still listening to that beat in your head and all that stuff. It's still going. So, yeah. Music is very important to, like, us as human beings, in my honest opinion. We're always going to love music. Hey, I like I like all types of music, okay? Mostly, I'm more of the, um, the J-pop, J-rock st stuff. But I also like country. I like, I like rap. I like hip-hop. Not mumble rap. But I like hip-hop. R&B, country, pop. J pop, J J R and B. There is such a thing as J Japanese R and B. So K pop, all that type of stuff. I will listen to a whole bunch of different things that really, you know, kind of gets me. And even if I don't understand the actual lyrics, like maybe I can't, I haven't translated them or any of that. I still get the feeling of the song, you know. Even when I find out that I translated the lyrics. It the feeling that I got from the song actually come across in the lyrics as well. Uh, so there's that. Um, so and I thought that the maestro was actually a really good villain in that second episode. Um, you really thought that the doctor was actually going to lose. Um, which is to me that's always a good uh 
that's always a good kind of episode of Doctor Who when you feel like the Doctor might actually lose. It it it, cha- it, it gives you that feeling of like, oh good lord, this is like serious. But I don't want to go too far on that because shoot, we also got something else to talk about. I cannot wait until Wednesday. I cannot wait until this Wednesday when we get the final episode of the season of X-Men 97. After that last episode, oh my god. I'm pretty sure y'all have seen the images. Wolverine, uh, a scene that's only happened in the comics so far, finally gets brought into onto the screen. With Wolverine getting his animantium ripped out of his body by <laughs> Magia. That is crazy, okay? And I love the fact that we're also getting Operation Zero Tolerance. Um, um, uh, Operation Zero Tolerance storyline coming up. Because I'm hoping, I'm hoping, against hope, that in the second season, or even in this next episode, we're going to finally get my boy, Bobby Iceman Drake, finally... Coming back to the team. Now, considering that X-Men 97 is a uh, continuation of the original X-Men TV show that came out in the 90s. I personally was upset that I, you know, I didn't get to see my favorite Snowball. Okay, that may sound wrong. But anyway, I'm, I, I was kind of sad that my favorite, one of my favorite characters wasn't legitimately part of the team. I have two uh, favorite X-Men characters. That's Nightcrawler and Iceman. And Nightcrawler showed up. Iceman showed up every once in a while. But they were never part of the team. Now, so far in season one, Nightcrawler has been... has In season one of 97, Nightcrawler has basically become fully a part of the team. Uh, he's actually joining up with the others to... Hopefully defeat either Magneto or Bastion. And I'm happy about that. But I'm hoping that like in season two we get more of the uh, Operation Zero Tolerance storyline from the comic books. Which is one of my favorite uh, storylines. It brought uh, Iceman back in to the fold. Um, Not only that but he kind of sort of was like the leader uh, of a small group of new X-Men. So it was like him. Um, I, I I forget all the other ones. Hold on. Let me let me look into the Operation Zero Tolerance storyline. Standing by. No. Excuse me. Oh, yeah. So we had uh, Dr. Cecilia Reyes and Mero um, kind of joining up with Iceman to um, confront Bastion. And, uh, you know, they basically became, you know, uh, new X-Men because of it. Uh, Cecilia Reyes, she had the ability to uh, create force fields, create a cytoplasmic biofield, um, and she was a capable medical doctor and a medical surgeon, so she is a perfect fit for uh, the X Men team. Because come on, we can't have Beast doing everything, okay? Uh, now, of course, a former, uh, a former. Uh, Sorry, excuse me. A former Morlock in um, Mero, who has the ability to uh, pretty much control her bone growth and her bones like kind of stick out of her body. She can use them as weapons. Kind of like Spike in X-Men Evolution. Um, but yeah, I... I can't wait to see that kind of thing. And also, I believe we also are going to get... Um, there's another character that was introduced uh, during the whole Operation... Z- the aftermath of Operation um, 
zero tolerance, and that was, I believe, Maggot. Uh, he had the ability to uh, control like these kind of like metallic. I, I, if I remember correctly, metallic like um, bugs that could either help heal people or uh, destroy a whole bunch of stuff. I can't remember exactly. It was so long ago that I read those books. But, um, yeah, I, I, I'm actually looking forward to that whole, like, storyline. Hopefully we get Iceman in Season 2, if not um, in this final episode of um, Season 1. And we get more of Iceman, because he's the only, <laughs> he's out of all of the original X-Men, um, him and Angel are the only ones who aren't in the show, like, like that we got archangel in the original series but we haven't even seen angel or archangel in season two uh in this season of 97 so hopefully we get both of them popping back in uh other than that uh what else do i want to talk about uh yeah so i've gone through the kendrick and drake beef i've gone through uh doctor who coming back and I've gone through X Men ninety seven and my hopes for season two and the final episode of season one uh, coming this Wednesday. Oh, I feel like there's something else I'm missing. Oh, that's what it is. I'm finally back on Final Fantasy seven Rebirth. Okay, um, yeah, I'm not streaming it right now because of the fact that I don't know when and uh, when I'm gonna have time to really stream. And play through the game. Of course, I'm not streaming it like I was. <laughs> but I've been finally getting back into it. I went into uh, Nibelheim. I'm learning more stuff uh, that they added into the game. Because I haven't, like, I haven't really spoiled myself with, like, everything that's been coming out about Final Fantasy VII Reaper since it came out. And a lot of people have already beat it. But I am enjoying it so far. Uh, yeah, I think that is pretty much it. Oh, yeah. And I finally went to a planetarium show for the first time. Uh, I went to the museum with, um, a special lady. Uh, went to the museum, uh, this past weekend with a special lady. And it was fun. It was fun. I enjoyed the planetarium show. I will say this, at one point during the Planetarium show, they showed us, like, um, the, the far reaches of the universe, like, where we were and all that stuff, and the way the image looked like on, you know, the Planetarium, like, oh, viewing area, it looked like the Ben 10 symbol, so... I don't know if they show if that has been in any other planetarium shows before, but whoever made Ben Ten, I don't know if it was the planetarium shows who figured this out, who uh, got inspired by Ben Ten, or if it was Ben Ten who got inspired by uh, the planetarium shows. But I mean, it looked like the original symbol. It looked like uh, I would say it looked like the original Ben 10 um, Omnitrix symbol compared to, uh, you know, uh, Ultimate Alien. Oh, well, not Ultimate Alien, but Alien Force and Beyond. So, there's that. However, I guess that's it for me in this video. Like, again, I'm sorry for, like, the lack of, like, consistency with videos, but I have a job. I am in the process of trying to uh, date, and um, well, I just, I'm just not as able to post videos as much as I want to at this point, but you know, eventually I'll find a happy medium, like I've been saying, trying to find that happy medium, and once I do, you'll see a lot more. But other than that, oh yeah, the last thing I wanna say is, this year, um, at the end of the year, I am going to go and, uh, I'm, well, not at the end of the year, at the end of this month, maybe the end of this month, I'm going to MomoCon for the first time, um, 
I'm definitely going to check that out. Hopefully I can come up with a really good cosplay because I can't buy one at this point. It will probably get here way too late. Um, so I might try to, might try to do the whole, uh, Barrett. Just going to figure out a way to make a gun arm. But other than that, I will see you guys later. And, um, you guys, as always, have a great day. Have a great week. Have a great month. And have a great year in general. Okay. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.